going to do a GCSE electricity required practical on how resistance is depending on the length of the wire. Here I've got an ex example experiment uh, set up where I've got the power pack, the ammeter, the voltmeter that's connected in parallel to the testing wire. It'll be easy if you had the wire that's connected to a meter ruler so that you can make accurate measurements when your uh, measurements as you're increasing by increments of 10. Here is an example circuit diagram where I've sh shown the black wire is my testing wire. Well, again, just to uh, verify that the voltmeter is connected in parallel to the testing wire to show that you get the potential difference across the testing wire. So here I'm going to show you an example to get results. So first I'm going to start off with 10 centimeters. So to make it easier, I'll start at 10 over here, come out here. So I've got a measurement of 10 centimeters. I'm going to switch on the power pack and I'm going to get a reading where I've got current as 4.1 and voltage as 2.338. Just quickly switch it off because we don't want to overheat the wire. This could be a, a risk as the wire could get hot and can burn yourself as you touch the wire. Let's go, right now we're going to do from 10 centimeters, now we're going to go into 20 centimeters. So again, switch on the current, uh, switch on the power pack, so we're going to get current as 2.86 and then voltage as 3.12. Again, I'm going to increase the length to 40 centimeters. Turn on the power pack, 2.16 and then 3.42. And switch off. So, as I said, mentioned earlier, we want to find out how resistance is dependent on the length of the wire. We are going to use the Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. Rearrange the equation to make R the subject where R is equal to V over I. As we have our values, we can find our resistance across that wire. On the left of the wire, you're going to put your graph and you should have something like this. You're going to have resistance on the y axis, length on the x axis. Make sure it's clearly labeled and you're going to have a line that's going to go straight from origin going directly up. This shows that the resistance is directly proportional to length and you can prove this by getting various data from your results. You can say that from when the length is 10 centimeters, the resistance is, let's say, 10 ohms. So when it goes to 20 centimeters, that means the resistance may double to 20 ohms. Mm -hmm.